Hey everybody, this is John Miller, the hometown historian, with you here again today. This is Saturday, I believe it's July 16th or 17th. I lose track of the days. This was a long, long, long week. It was uh, by far the most humid I think we've experienced. I do mowing and landscaping, and the owner, Jim, was off on... Uh, vacation this week so it fell to me and rich and then the third guy mark to uh do uh all the work and it was just it was brutal so i had to be careful with that because uh, those of you that know me from wandering woodsman uh know me personally know that i went through quite a few health struggles earlier in the year and uh wound out Finding out I had diabetes as well, and diabetes, I don't do well in the heat, so it was a, it was an interesting week. This is a uh, little uh, family cemetery that uh, I go by. It's right next to the road. A lot of these you got to be really careful with because they're on private land. Um, yeah, I also I definitely like the song that Cliff has done has made practice of like stuff like this. You know, you just you don't you normally give the the place of where it is simply because unfortunately there's people out there like i had said in the first video old hanover cemetery you don't always give the location because certain people enjoy destroying grave sites and these are usually a little easier targets unfortunately but somebody maintains this really well it's right side of the road it's on my way to my sisters if i choose to take this road and this is something I wanted to stop by at for a while. I'm not aware that this has a name because sometimes they have, you know, a name for them. It's the All Wine Cemetery or the Mark Cemetery. Those are two cemeteries that are uh, family plots or old churchyards that are no longer around. That uh, they just have like a family name or whatever it is that they're known by. Uh, I don't know what that is for this. I'd have to do a little more research, but. It's just a neat old cemetery, and I figured I'd want to stop by here at some point and uh, check this out. I'm not sure how old it is. There is a newer stone there, but it's obviously maintained. And uh, I thought I'd take you along with me. Uh, the one thing I had uh, the last video, I was talking about uh, these smaller stones that are at the bottom here. They're called foot stones which makes sense, the headstone and the footstone. So let's see what the date is here on this. Uh, this looks like 1884. It's really hard to see, see the uh, writing here. That one looks like it's Michael. I cannot like make out what that is. This is another, it looks like 1884. So it's got, it's got some age. A bunch of these small stones, there's nothing on them that I can see. This one does, this one has something on it. This is eight, wow, this is 1855. Oh, they were only eight months old, 12 days. Wow, that was so common back then. You know, you had so many children that didn't live very long. Really pretty writing. Go over to these other ones here. This one's 1853. Once again, I'm in trouble. I can't really read the writing very well. This person's a Revolutionary War veteran. They, uh, looks like they died 1829. So this does have quite a bit of age here. So there's the Revolutionary War. Oh, that's neat. So this must be like a family plot, the Stauffer. I don't know if that's that's the name that some of these have here, but that, that's pretty neat. And David Budd was a World War II vet. That was my dad was a World War II vet. And my dad was born in 1925 as well. So thank you, David W. Budd for your service no longer with us but still in memory thought and love you're with your family that, that's pretty i wonder if this is the same guy this is this I'm, I'm assuming this is the same uh gentleman i wonder if it almost looks like that's a plaque from 
somewhat similar to like a war uh, cemetery because my dad's my dad's is different than this but it almost has like the same type of thing he served in the US Navy and David W. Stauffer served our country and kept us safe and a few other stones here but nothing that I can see on them uh, whether these might be I don't think these are footstones but yeah this is a beautiful little area and whoever whoever takes care of this thank you because this is you know preserving our history there's the the van I have to come up with a name like Cliff has for his uh, vehicle she served me well she was my work van when I was traveling all over Pennsylvania and up in New York and then we go to occasionally go to New Jersey we're in a Poughkeepsie area so we were pretty close to New Jersey. We did a couple stores in New Jersey. I used to do industrial floor work. Uh, we took care of Dollar General. We did their wax works. And then Family Dollar and Dollar Tree, we took care of wax works. And uh, like their scrub and buffs monthly services. It's a pretty cool, cool job. We got to travel a lot, got to see a lot of things. Those of you that follow the Wandering Woodsman, Cliff, uh, he kept track of some of our adventures and we went to Lake Erie, Lake Ontario, we went to Niagara Falls. Got to see a lot of really cool st uh, stuff. Got to go up to Syracuse, all over the place. Poughkeepsie was a really cool area. Uh, I want to take some friends up there in that area sometime soon now that things are opening up again. Uh, some really cool, sort of those cool main street towns, a lot of cool antique stores, just cool, unique unique little towns right along the Hudson but this is uh, just north of Palmyra really cool old cemetery um, this, this, this is cool I was never never stopped here before so I'm glad I did uh, it's always something you want to be careful with like I said before because uh, private property if it's posted you shouldn't go on it it's cool though to see these places that they're maintained and taken care of and if somebody takes the care and love to uh, take care of these things I would assume Stauffer family so once again thank you to David bud um, and this was the uh, the little cemetery that we just got to come and visit and hopefully uh, I want to try to do the B Noggles Lutheran Church here in the next couple days I also want to get that introductory video done it's been like i had said earlier it's been a pretty rough week uh i get home and i'm so beat from just with the diabetes and then just in general because my health had declined so badly that it uh takes a lot out of me i'm not back to full strength they're saying it's probably not going to be till maybe christmas at the earliest that i'll be back to normal but anyways cool this is a neat little cemetery Fun to take you guys along hope you enjoyed it and uh, hopefully i'll keep on getting better and better right now i'm filming with my phone and hopefully here in a little bit i'll be able to get a more professional camera and put my skills to work uh, so whether it's your town my town our, our hometown the one thing that connects us all is is home whether it's the memories the, the feelings of yesteryear it's knowing it's a place that we belong and that means so much. We will see you about town, our hometown. See you, everybody.